Space Coconut. Ah, uh, Haddonfield. Okay. Uh, gonna lose the match. Gonna teach how to trap. So, every pallet. It's my favorite. Right outside. So let's focus on the main structure here. Uh, it's not that one. Where is it? Is this? Yes. Okay, so Meyer's house. Um, is, sometimes that's open, sometimes it's not. I like this pathway. There are three ways the survivor can go through the window, through the door, up the stairs. This trigger, this trap will catch all of them. Um, this window, I love this drop. Right here. Uh, let's see. There are so many paths and so many, so many ways. Uh, this section it's pretty good if there's a pallet here. Uh, there's not. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, any other drops? Uh, this is... Haddonfield has so many paths that it's pretty difficult to... Um, outside the uh, basement window when they want to get out. Uh, I guess... There, there are so many paths. Hello! Get some chasing on. He's running straight. <laughs> oh, pallet. Yep. Do, 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 do. Ah, this is the other building. Okay, so outside its pallet, right? He's gonna drop it. So, in this building, uh, you can go here. Because there are only two exits, and the survivors like to go around in circles. We all know this, right? Now this window, instead of trapping inside the building, trap outside this window. When they make that loop, and they try- well, this window's good too. When they try and make this loop to get away from you, um, they're going to go for this window, and you'll catch them with that, with that trap. Any of these, a spot right here, this might work. I've tried it once or twice, and they can go in and kind of get caught in here. Uh, healing, all right. Okay, she's gonna do that. Ah, out that window. Outside these windows is good too. Outside these windows is good too. For that very reason. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, she's gonna go. Oh wait, there's no thing there. No pallet there. There was a pallet there. So yeah, trap the pallets. These loops, same deal. She she knows that that's a bad pallet. Where'd you go? She didn't go there. Wily. Where'd you go? Eh, she lost me. All right. So let's see. Outside the pallets, I'm gonna go back to the street here. Uh, da, 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 da. So they do like to loop these and just like any other pallet, just outside. Any of those is good. They're gonna go around it. Ah. Um, there is one important thing. Don't focus on one side like I've been doing to show these. You wanna go, what are you doing? Um, He wants to go over there, okay. Okay, let's see if they rescue him from the basement. So we have to set that, reset that trap. Do -do 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 -do. Corner trap on the basement. 
there are two paths here, one outside that window, one right here. Let's get them caught in the corner. And then we'll get them caught over here. Hello. And we'll go back. Now they'll heal down there. I don't have make your choice. Yeah. But they're gonna run outside the thing. If I hit one of them, they're gonna get caught. And both traps triggered. We'll just take her back to the basement. There were three people there, or two. One went out the window, one went out the other way, so those traps worked just fine. And that's the trick there. We did, if there weren't um, more than, if there were just two, we might have gotten her when she got delayed on this trap right here. So just reset the same three traps. This basement is always here, so the windows and things change. Rawr. Yeah. Um, but all of the pathways, you're gonna have to make calls on it. Like this window might be good because of the other doors. Who knows, you know? Haddonfield has so many of these stupid paths and loops that there are no one specific reset that trap he's gonna get stuck reset the trap because it doesn't matter oh nope you're not getting it you're not getting it Reset the trap before I put her, pick her up. Do do do. This one's kind of hard because I, you know, let them get all the gens and I didn't spread my traps out and yada yada yada. You can put one here. Might be a good idea in the corner. like roaches. Ooh, I might get her. <laughs> eh. We'll let him get out. What do you think? Okay, so if we get them here, trap at the hook, in this situation the gate's open and they can open it, right? He's gonna stun, he's gonna try and rescue. If he has borrowed time, that'll work. But he's not running away, so we don't want to leave, right? See, what he needs to do in order to rescue her is to get away. Oh. We faked him out. That worked. Put him down. He's going to start crawling out. Uh-oh. 
Oh, we can pick him up. We didn't, um... Let's put him further away from the gate. So he has a couple of options. Let's... We're gonna trap the path to the door. We're gonna path the trap out of here. And we're gonna path... Oh, he just killed himself. Well, that's that. <laughs> and that's a really, really fast way on how to trap that. Uh, Haddonfield's really hard um, to make a guide for. GG. Good trap guide. Look for it on YouTube. Um, <laughs> I'm not a good head. You place traps too close together. That's somewhat true somewhat true. What I've noticed is that in the main structures, so like um, the Haddonfield house, if you do have too many traps, it, it can be more difficult to um, teleport to the right trap at the right time. If two traps get triggered at the same time, like the one outside the basement and the one um, outside the door at the exit of the basement, both of those triggered at the same time. It would have been really difficult to teleport to the right trap at the right time to hit the right survivor, the one that you were chasing. So, um, Haddonfield in general is a very fluid map. Um, there are so many different paths um, that you want to trap. You can really only trap a few places um, consistently, like the basement or um, that drop that I like, or outside the windows and things like that. But if you put too many in one area, just like I said, it can make it more difficult to trap. The, the um, uh, maybe I should go, maybe I'll edit the video into this and, and mute the, I don't know. Let me get this out. Um, but yeah, uh, Haddonfield, there are so many paths, there are so many different ways to go that you can't place traps in specific areas you can't well i can't say that because there are a few the trap placements for the most part are always different in haddonfield there are so many paths uh, leary's is kind of the same way um you want to trap places that have multiple paths um so if they're going from one place to another in the middle of the road isn't going to be good um, in that house uh, where they loop in the basement, there's only two exits there. Uh, so those are, you know, consistent. Um, everywhere else with the hedges and the trees and, and, and the fences and the all of that stuff, um, you have to kind of... You, you, you just got to go with your best judgment uh, in order to get that map down. And so... Uh, Yeah, it. I, I can't. I can't stress it enough. You need to. Um, Haddonfield is a very fluid map. Um, you need to trap as you go according to how the match is going. I mean, that's true for every map, but Haddonfield especially because there are so many options for survivors to run. Yeah. So I hope that this was helpful. I'm. I know that it was fast. <laughs> um, maybe I spent too much time actually playing and chasing and stuff, but the, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if I wonder if I should do Haddonfield again. Well, I mean, if I get Haddonfield again, 
guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> but maybe you shouldn't listen to me because I'm not a good hag. You know, I put traps too, cl too close together. I'm not a good hag. I let everybody go away and I just camped this guy to death. Or he just gave himself up. Uh, you shouldn't listen to me because I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm an awful hag. Lampkin Lane. I realized that after making the how-to video, I should have a real match video. So win or lose, I'm going to post this video on the, as the second half of the how-to video. That makes sense to me. No, Jim. I heard the crow to the right. We can give her something to do. Ooh, that was weird. Hmm. And somebody was in there. Oh, and she's healing. Gonna have trouble healing, buddy. Get greedy, get greedy. Okay, so somebody's in the house. Who's in the house? Hag's in the house! Let's see if we can't get her to drop down. Oh, fancy. She knew that I trapped that at the bottom. That's all right. Oh wait, I guess it didn't set up. Yeah, there's not. It's still there. All right. Next one. Three gens. Ah, uh, she's gonna go back for the rescue. We're falling behind. There's a loop. Five traps. Mm hmm. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay. We'll get rid of Claudette. We'll go and get forehead. percent through the thing to the pallet yep all 
All right. She and I can't tell. The phantasm is gone. Oh. Ooh, what am I doing? Eh. Uh, do I want to bother with this? She's leading me away. Hmm. That's alright. Uh. <laughs> that works. What? A weird lag. Let's see, where would I run if I were you? Through the back, this way. I don't... maybe. Ooh, definitely here. Alright, let's check the... Ooh. Oh, she's baiting me that way, so we're not gonna bother. We do want one outside. Here will be good, actually. All traps settled. Yeah, I guess. I got stuck, dude. We'll put her over here. They're both going to be in the same area. Bad for you guys. I'm not sure why Forehead just stayed there. Ooh, that was weird. The heels aren't gonna work. Yeah, nice. Goodbye. And then hatch for the winner. Hooray! So not bad. I ended up focusing on one side. There it goes. bad. Not great. Yeah, the crazed is probably upset, but I'm, if he's streaming right now, I'm gonna go check it out. This will be funny. But yeah, let me know how you think of this setup. Um, the how-to part at the beginning, and then a real match after. Let me know how, what you think about that setup, and um, I'll finish up this series um, as uh, as I get uh, matches, so yeah, we'll just go from here. Uh, yep, yeah, nothing else. <laughs> uh, bye.